Oh, hi children! <laughs> I see you caught me singing again. Yeah, it's true. I love to sing and compose new songs. Once, I even led the women of Israel in a song of experience and victory. We praise God for delivering us from the Egyptian army. Ah, music is in my blood. You know, kids, music can bring you closer to God or it can take you away from Him. God's music is holy. It teaches us important truths and gives us courage to do what's right. It helps us to think of heaven. The music of the world, on the other hand, is just silly and wild. It makes us weak and disrespectful. It's better to not listen to worldly music. Just praise the Lord instead. Oh dear, <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. That happens when you're over 90 years of age, you know. <laughs> well, I'm Miriam, by the way, the older sister of Moses and Aaron. Our parents were Amram and Jochebed from the tribe of Levi. God made my brothers and I leaders in Israel. Aaron and I were both prophets. Now, to be a prophet means that you receive messages from God through dreams and visions, and also that you teach and correct the people. Aaron also became the first high priest. And well, you probably know all about Moses, the baby of our family, and how I kept an eye on him while he floated in the Nile. He was such a cute little thing. <sighs> Where did the time go? Hmm. Oh, oh yes, yes! As the oldest in the family, I was used to having my brothers follow me around and do what I said. It was hard for me to learn to listen and follow Moses. God had to teach me a hard lesson before I finally obeyed. You see, when Moses left Egypt, he married Zipporah. She wasn't an Israelite, but a Midianite, another descendant of Abraham. She was kind and loved God. She really was a good wife to Moses. But her skin was darker than ours. I am ashamed to admit this now, but I was envious of her because Moses listened to her. In fact, I was downright mean. I had forgotten that God looks at our hearts, not our skin. I was jealous that God spoke directly to Moses without consulting Aaron and me. I mean, we were leaders in Israel too and I blamed everything on Zipporah. If Moses hadn't married her, things would be better for us. Aaron and I complained constantly. Oh, we were awful, but I was the worst. If there is one thing God really hates, it's murmuring. God heard our grumbling and called Aaron and I to the tabernacle. He made it clear to us he had chosen Moses to be the leader of Israel. He wasn't happy that we had spoken against him. Do you know that when we criticize our church leaders, we actually speak against God himself? God doesn't choose leaders only because of what they can do, but because they are humble and obedient to him. I was punished for my sin with leprosy. I had hidden the ugliness of my character in my heart, but now it was on my skin for all to see. Rebellion is a terrible thing. It's almost impossible to change a rebellious heart. Think about Lucifer in heaven. So please, please never complain or rebel against God or his leaders. To help us remember the authority of his ministry, God commanded Moses to put a special object into the Ark of the Covenant. Do you know what it was? Yes, you're right. It was Aaron's rod. I was sent out of the camp for seven days. God heard the prayer of Moses and I was healed because of my pride. God wanted to teach me a lesson in humility. He really loved me and wanted to save me. It was a lesson I never forgot. At that moment, I better understood the meaning of my name. Miriam means strong, robust, and mm, rebellious. I'm not too proud of that last meaning, but I saw how much it had to do with me. Did you know that all of the Marys in the Bible were actually named Miriam? Yes, even the mother of Jesus. And actually, some of them also transformed, like me, from being rebellious to being strong in faith. 
In a way, they were also a type of prophetess too, because they had the privilege of being the first to tell the world that Jesus had resurrected. Throughout history, the faithful children of God have always been an example of what my name Miriam means, because they change from being rebellious to being faithful, and they are called to be prophets during the end times. You too can be a prophet. Just tell the world that Jesus is returning and preach the messages of the three angels to the whole world. You know, when Jesus comes, all of us who have been redeemed will sing a new song called the Song of Moses and the Lamb. That song will tell the experience you have made as you overcame sin. Wow! <laughs> I can't wait to sing that song with you. Do you want to learn it now? You can start by having a personal experience with Jesus, and someday soon, we'll all sing it together. Okay? Well, kids, I have to go now. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.